The biggest secret in the entertainment industry that really wasn't a secret at all has finally been revealed to the world. There are a lot of videos, apparently. Those r rooms on the island, and I think out in New Mexico, were wired for video. Right. And Where's the video? We, I mean, between Diddy and Epstein, uh, it's good. There's, <laughs> there's, there's probably several thousand hours of footage here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, this lawyer is planning to take legal actions against a handful of alias celebrities on behalf of his clan. According to this ad recently put out by Fox News, Diddy's celebrity friends are quietly settling with victims ahead of impending lawsuit. I don't know if you have seen this. A lot must make it clear that were of videos. Extremely concerning, he had a segment with Tucker Carson where they talk a lot, which I'm going to show you some videos. Didi Coombs' famous friends are allegedly settling with victims outside of court to ensure they are not named in impending lawsuit according to a Texas-based attorney representing over 100 accusers. The wall of silence has now been broken and victims are coming forward. Our team has had at this point more than 3,285 individuals contact us with people claiming people claiming to have been victimized by Sean Combs. We now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs, as well as claims against many other individuals and entities that we will name as defendants as we file these individual cases. I expect that through this process, many powerful people will be exposed. Many dirty secrets will be revealed. We know what we are potentially up against. This is always the case in situations like this when a celebrity is involved. People can be downright mean and nasty. You'd be shocked at the length fans will go, no matter the evidence, to the contrary, to defend celebrities they love. And there's a reason for this word fans. They're fanatics. I've personally already been threatened multiple times on social media. And when I agreed to pursue this, I expected as much. This isn't my first rodeo. But victims who step forward to have their voices heard should not be subjected to that kind of conduct. They should not be targeted. Yes, over 3,000 people contacted this man. You can know how this issue is serious when you take a look at the videos I've seen on social media pertaining to this. Mm, there are some I cannot even bring on this platform. Now looking into what Elon Musk said recently. Elon Musk just revealed that Big Gate is terrified of Trump winning because the Epstein Tian list will be released. Mm. Elon Musk made some revelations like a lot of these people endorsing Kamala, especially billionaires, they are afraid because if Trump is elected, he will release this, which a lot will come out. So you can now understand exactly what is happening here. When I look at the whole situation, like there are a lot of videos, apparently, those r rooms on the island and I think out in New Mexico were wired for video. Right. And Where's the video? We, I mean, between Diddy and Epstein, uh, it's good. There's, <laughs> there's, there's probably several thousand hours of footage here. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of weird that the people on those videos are lecturing the rest of us about our moral failings, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird. What is that? Um, well, I mean, part of how they deflect attention from themselves is by uh, mark, you know, criticizing the morals of others. Yes. So they, it's sort of like a preemptive moral strike. Um, yes. I mean, as I said, I think th th those who are saying Trump is a threat to democracy are themselves actually the threat to democracy. It feels like we're getting to a place where the rest of us know too much. Is this, do you know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's, it's easier to live in a society where you don't really know what the people in charge are doing or why they're doing it. But now, thanks, I would say, largely to X. Yeah. Um, I think that's fair to say that. Yeah. Uh, we, we do know a lot. Not everything, but we know a lot. And I wonder, yeah. where does that, like, what happens next now that we know all this? The kid shown us his face. Like, what happens? Well, I think if, uh, if Trump wins, we can do some house cleaning and shed light on things.
Yes, that is why people like Hillary Clinton are advocating that social media companies should be regulated. He said it two days ago. If they cannot regulate the social media platforms, they cannot execute their plans. Now taking a look at what Carson said here, it is like knowing too much is a problem. They want us not to know along. The reasons they are panicking. Elon Musk has never been like this. When you look at what he is doing now, he is brief. If he was someone, he would look for somewhere to hide, like, mm, I don't want to involve myself into politics, just appearing on that stage with Trump. He said it on this video, he's expecting anything. But you'll just say whatever words are on the teleprompter, so, you know, um, it, it's really whoever controls the teleprompter is the actual, sort of, th th those, that's who's actually in charge. And who is that, do you think? Well, I've, I've tried to put it down, it's, it's not like, any one kind of mastermind. It's not like, it, it seems to be, it's, it's like um, Kamala's sort of a, a marionette with, you know, th a thousand ma a puppet masters type of thing. Like not, it's, it's, it's or maybe it's, it's in, it's, it's somewhere north of a hundred is what it seems like. Yes. Um, I bet you know 80 of them. I probably know most of them, yeah. Yeah. So, well, I mean, just by virtue of your job and what you've been doing for the last 30 years, I mean, you just, yeah. um, and I should say, I think you voted for I'd, Biden. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see a matchup of, of, of those, like, call it the, the, the top 100 puppet masters on the FD client list. <laughs> do you think there's some overlap? Strong overlap. <laughs> Strong overlap. When are we going to see that list, do you think? I don't know. It's, 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 it's mind-blowing that, that, it, um, that no, they've not tried to prosecute even one. Not even the worst offender on, on the Epstein client list. They have not even tried to prosecute even one. Isn't that, that's insane. Well, because they have a lot of diabetic grandmothers who were outside the Capitol on January 6th. They've, they're kind of occupied. Yeah, I mean, they've put like, whatever, five or 600 January 6th put in prison and not one person on the, on the Epstein client list. Will that ever come out, do you think? You know, I, I think part of why Kamala is getting so much support is that uh, if, if Trump wins, that Epstein client list is going to become public. Yes. And some of those billionaires behind Kamala are terrified of that outcome. Yeah. Do you think Reed Hoffman's uncomfortable? Yes. Yeah. And Gates. And Gates. Yeah. yeah. And I only ask that because you can sort you just look at them and you're like, that, that's a nervous person right there. I don't know. I mean, I assume you know them. He is right. If Trump is not there, nobody will see that list. I'm speaking the truth because it will implicate a lot of people. And I don't believe if these people continue like this, nobody will face justice. It will end just like that. Look at crimes that people have committed, like what Diddy is facing now. Hmm. And maybe soon we will see the list. If top people are into that list, we will not see it. I posted a video one day ago where a lot of people speculated like the list is out. I just had to laugh all through because if that list is out and some top politicians are on that, you will not see it. So it's hard to know what's true, but yeah. why knows? people genuinely love it when someone like Diddy gets caught, though. The glee that people have is weird. Miami Beach were also raided earlier in the year. Agents say they found high power ammo and 1,000 bottles of baby oil and loot. They right. just, you know, so you have, if you don't have what they need, they're going to leave. Right. Got to right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is sounding kind of dangerous now. The rapper kept tapes of politicians at his notorious freak of which could expose high profile figures in a corruption scandal. He's a public figure, very high profile. Yes, that's a big enough name. I don't believe all of this is happening because it's just Sean P. Diddy Cones thereafter. I believe thereafter others as well. They're not just coming for Diddy, Pat. Okay, this is, you guys heard it, feds and Homeland Security, okay? You're calling yourself and you're saying, oh man, it's just you and Diddy. 
Well, this is the problem. Holmes Enterprise. If you are over 18, please register to vote for something else. It's letter. I, I bet it's number two. You know what? Donald Trump likes my music 25% less. Comes out against Trump. I don't care if they write that. And didn't.